Hi there! So the new Dragon of the Month in DML is the brand new Pixie Dot Dragon. She's a legendary light and plant element dragon that has a base attack of 76. She actually could be pretty useful on some late game teams, so she's definitely a dragon you will want to add to your collection this month. And to breed the Pixie Dot, you need to breed together two dragons that have the earth, metal, fire and water elements. And today, I will be showing you the four best breeding combinations you can use to breed her. So the very best combination that you can use to breed the Pixie Dot this month is the Rust Plus Fire Dragons. So most of us got a hold of the Rust Dragon in the most recent solo event that just happened, so hopefully you'll have him as well. And so with this combination, there are five possible outcomes. But most of these outcomes have extremely low breeding times, and overall this combo gives just under a 3% chance to breed the Pixie Dot, which isn't too bad for a legendary. But this is by far the best combo that you can use, and uses two dragons that are very easy to get a hold of. However, if you do not have the Rush Dragon for whatever reason, then the second best combination that I would suggest for you to use would be the elemental plus metal dragons. So the elemental is still a relatively easy dragon to breed and with this combination there are less possible outcomes sitting at just four and giving you around about a three percent chance to breed that pixie dot still. It's just the breeding times on these ones are a little bit higher than with the first combo but still an extremely good combination that you can use so definitely these two are by far the best two that you could use. But the third best combination that you can use is the Torpedo plus Earth Dragons. So you do get the Torpedo for getting up to Diamond in the arena. So as long as you're up to that point, you will have the Torpedo guaranteed. So with this combination, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. So your chances are much lower, sitting at around about 1.8% to breed the Pixie Dot. But again, most of the breeding times on this one are still pretty low. And overall, this is still quite a good combo to use if you don't have the first two. But even if you don't have any epic or rare dragons, that is no problem because the fourth combination that you can use is the Boiling plus Minotaur dragons. So these are two common dragons, a very easy combo to get a hold of, and this also has eight other possible outcomes, giving the same chance as the third breeding combo I suggested it's just the breeding timers are slightly higher on this one. But if you are a brand new player, only just got the metal element unlocked, this is probably your best bet for getting a hold of her. But, you know, for any of these dragons, if there are any dragons with the same elements as them, so the uncommon version of these dragons, or another epic that has the same elements as the elemental, you can replace the elemental or whatever with that dragon, just so that you know. Like all legendary dragons, the Pixie Dot has a breeding time of two days regularly, or reduced down to one day and 14 hours if you have VIP active at the time. So you'll definitely know when you've managed to breed her. So onto my recommended levels you should use to breed this legendary. I suggest for you to use level 15 plus dragons when trying to breed the Pixie Dot. The higher the level, the better your chances will be. But saying that, there isn't any need to go too crazy with the levels. And always remember, there is never a guarantee that you will breed the Pixie Dot. All you can do is increase your chances as much as possible. It doesn't matter whether your breeding dragons are enchanted, which one is a higher level, which side your rust or fire dragon is on, the only thing that changes how likely you are to breed the pixie dot is the level of your breeding dragons. So level them up and keep rebreeding as many times as you can through the month. It's taken me just under 100 attempts to breed the dragon of the month before, so do not give up! But that is more or less all the advice I can give you for breeding this dragon this month. But if you do have any questions, then feel free to leave a comment 
or message me. If the video helped you out though, I'd appreciate you leaving a like so that we can help out even more folks. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching and best of luck with all your breeding. Uh, just before I go, I wanted to show you my new hoodie real quick. Oh, it looks so spacey. So this hoodie was sent to me by Into the AM, which is a company that does some really cool designs for hoodies, shirts, hats, blankets, other stuff. And they're bringing out some game-themed merch from series like Smite, God of War, Overwatch, Far Cry, you name it. If you use the code QUACK on the site, you'll get 10% off any purchase you make, and they'll get some commission back from your purchase too, so it's basically a win-win, you know. Either way, check out the site if you're interested. I am so gonna end up buying like three of the flamingo blankets that they have. <laughs>